one of the most useful and effective raw materials discovered by mankind since ancient times, and the history of the glass industry dates back to a very ancient time. Estimated at 2500 BC, when the natural glass resulting from the occurrence of volcanoes, volcanic obsidian, was discovered in ancient Egypt, and the mechanism of its formation, resulting from subjected to varying changes in temperature. Glass is an amazing material without which modern life cannot be imagined. It has a unique chemical composition. Dot. It is an amorphous and transparent solid, non-combustible, and completely inert, because it does not react with its content or its surroundings. So it is very suitable for scientific, surgical and pharmaceutical applications. The glass industry has enjoyed great importance through the ages. History of the glass industry. The discovery of the art of glass blowing by a worker from Syria and Palestine constituted a turning point in the history of glassmaking. A century BC, as this invention changed the entire philosophy of glassmaking to a large extent and made it a practical and affordable material. This industry subsequently spread throughout the territory of the ancient Roman Empire and eventually throughout Europe and the world due to the Roman conquest of the Jews in 63 BC. The Romans were so interested in using glass that they used it not only for making dishes and jewelry but also for architectural purposes. Today glass is used as one of the most common building materials, and in the manufacture of various kitchen utensils, windows and various kinds of small decorative objects. Types of glass and raw materials used in its manufacture. Glass is an amorphous solid, and it can take the form of a brittle solid or, or molten liquid. This behavior is called vitrification. The raw materials used in the manufacture of its various types include the following. 1. Silica glass. It is the basic material for forming silica glass and is suitable for use in many industries, such as optical glass, sheet glass, crystal glass and foundry molds. 2. Useful lime glass. It is composed of silica oxide, sodium, magnesium, lime, alumina and is easy to shape and has high transparency, so it is suitable for decorative elements and windows. It consists of silica oxide, sodium, magnesium, lime, alumina and is characterized by its ease of formation and its high transparency. So it is suitable for decorative elements and windows, and care must be taken in this case when converting sand into glass that the amount of iron in the sand does not exceed a certain limit because this may cause windows to darken. It is also necessary to add other elements during the transformation of sand into glass in order to improve the level of resistance, as well as its color and transparency. 3. Sodium Borosilicate Glass It consists of silica, boron oxide, sodium oxide, alumina. This type is most commonly used in kitchen and laboratory equipment. 4. Crystal glass. It consists of silica, sodium oxide, lead oxide, potassium oxide, aluminum, zinc oxide. It is most commonly used in factories. 5. Oxide glass. It consists of alumina and germanium oxide that is used in optical fibers. The raw material for glass and other materials is the recycling of other bottles with the use of additives such as, sodium sulfate, sodium chloride, and ammoni trioxide. This is in order to reduce bubbles inside the glass and increase its resistance. How to prepare glass before making it? There are some subtle details that must be taken into account when preparing glass in the factory, as materials such as sand, lime, Sodium carbonate and silica are included in its composition, which play an important role in the success of its formation, taking into account other conditions, the most important of which are When choosing the sand required for the production of glass, care must be taken that it is almost pure quartz, with a little sodium carbonate that plays an auxiliary role in melting when producing it. The use of sodium sulfate and chlorate, which works to get rid of bubbles in the glass, the use of sodium nitrate, which works on the disappearance of the green color that can be seen in some glasses due to the presence of iron oxide. When making glass and in the melting stage, two types of furnaces are used to complete the forming operations, boiler furnaces, which operate with a capacity of two tons or less, and are commonly used for the manufacture of optical glass, as well as the manufacture of glass for technical industries which is done by the method of casting. 
The second type of furnaces is tank furnaces, which is a crucible made of a specific type of clay or platinum, and its daily capacity ranges between 1 to 10 tons. And it is heated using gas or electric energy. Stages of glass making Although the materials used in making the types of glass may vary, the stages of its manufacture are the same, and are summarized as follows. The first stage. Carefully choose the raw material for glass production, which is silica sand, port CO2, the less impurities in it. The more pure glass will be obtained. Silica is an inexpensive material and will not cost much to prepare. If pure silica cannot be obtained and the silica has iron impurities, the effect of its color can be prevented by adding some manganese oxide. The second phase, sodium carbonate and calcium oxide, cow, are added to the silica. Sodium carbonate, also known as washing soda, lowers the temperature needed to produce glass, thanks to its sodium oxide, not 2 O, content. They also allow water to pass through, so calcium oxide or lime is also added to their mixture with silica. To make the glass produced more durable, magnesium or aluminum oxide can also be added. So that these additives do not exceed 26% to 30% of the composition as a whole. If we want to obtain decorative glass, lead oxide can be added to this composition, which lowers the melting point and gives it its crystalline and smooth appearance. While eyeglass lenses may require the use of lanthanum oxide due to its refractive properties, while the use of iron helps the glass absorb heat and makes it green. The addition of metal oxides to the initial composition enables us to produce glass of different colors. Third level. The obtained mixture is placed in a heat-resistant container, called a container. The container must have the necessary resistance to a very high oven temperature. Depending on your additives, the resulting compound can melt in a temperature range between 1500 and 2500 degrees Celsius. The fourth stage. We press the mixture in the oven to melt and melt using gas ovens. This can also be done using electric ovens. The melting temperature of silica without additives is 2300 degrees Celsius. Adding sodium carbonate, soda, lowers the temperature required to make the glass up to 1500 degrees Celsius. To make clear glass, a suitable range of raw materials are needed. These materials include silica sand, CO2, sodium oxide, Na2O, from sodium carbonate, calcium oxide, cow, from limestone or dolomite, Ngo, and feldspar, L2O3. These materials are mixed in an appropriate proportion and placed in a furnace heated to 1500 degrees Celsius. Certain metal oxides are also included in the category in order to impart color to the glass. Level 5. Remove bubbles from the molten glass to make it uniform and homogeneous. It is possible to get rid of bubbles during dissolving by adding some chemicals, such as sodium sulfate, sodium chloride or antimony oxide. Sixth stage. The formation of molten glass is done in several ways. Molten glass can be poured into a mold as desired and left to cool. This method was used by the ancient Egyptians. And many lenses today are produced in this way. The molten glass can be collected at the end of a hollow tube. And then the glass can be formed by blowing it and passing air in it. This method is one of the oldest and most reliable glass forming methods. Which is still widely used to this day. This method is called blown glass gravity in the surface on which the glass is placed, as well as the skill of the master craftsman, affect the final look of the resulting glass. Molten glass can be turned into flat glass using a tin bath and compressed with nitrogen. Glass made in this way is called flute glass. This method was invented by Alistair Pilkington in the 1950s and it is still used to produce flat glass. Seventh stage. This stage is called annealing which means high heat and then cooling. This method will remove the internal stresses that may have arisen in the glass. Because annealed glass is significantly weaker. This process allows the surface of the glass to pass through a layer that removes any pressure on it and gradually cools it to give it its final hardened shape. After this process is completed, the glass can be improved in terms of strength and resistance. 
and used in various ways such as tempering, lamination or other methods which make it easier to cut and shape. The stage of quality inspection and glass cutting. It is the last stage of glass making, and is an important stage to ensure the highest quality of the product. As scanners scan the toughened glass strip to discover defects. While the flotation process is known to produce flawless glass, there are rare instances where a grain of sand may have resisted dissolving, or the vibrations in the flotation bath may cause ripples and bubbles in the glass. Automatic checking method can control cutting operations. The last step is determined by a computer program where the glass is cut according to the customer's request and sold to him. Float glass is generally sold by the square meter. Computers provide the customer with specification of the glass cutting mechanism with patterns designed to reduce wastage. Techniques used in the manufacture of glass today. The glass is produced using two techniques, float glass and hand-blown glass. 1. Manual Blowing of Glass In the manual glass blowing method, the glass is carefully made in three basic steps, the remains of empty bottles and others are the primary material that will be relied upon in this method. And its steps include, melting the raw materials, pouring or blowing the glass into container molds, cooling and final quality checks. This is the most common method for obtaining tools and art forms. The stages of work in detail include the following. Glass residues are melted in an oven at 1600 degrees Celsius, until into a paste. Then, using an empty tube, the craftsman directs the molten glass and attempts to blow mold it, he gets different containers like cups, bottles, plates, bowls and many more among these containers. The internal temperature of the used tube must be 1000 degrees Celsius. 2. Float Glass Technology Used to create flat windows, this process is also known as the Pilkington process. In honor of its inventor, Sir Alistair Pilkington. In this process, glass is poured over the surface of molten metal which is usually tin or lead, and has a low melting point. This method gives the glass plate uniform thickness and a very flat surface. Any glass product can also be painted, heat treated, engraved or decorated immediately after its production. Most float glass is so to lime glass as the basic raw material but to make a flat screen for example according to the float glass process. Relatively small amounts of special borosilicate are added. Building tempered glass industry Tempered glass is characterized by its high resistance, and the great safety it provides to the consumer. Which made its use in the construction industry increasing day by day. Tempered glass is usually made from ordinary glass during heat treatment. At the beginning of the work, ordinary glass must be cut to the desired dimensions, and this step is very important. As you cannot change the dimensions after darkening the glass because this will cause it to shatter. Then the edges are polished and put in the oven until it reaches a temperature of 700 degrees and becomes a paste. In the next step, after the glass is taken out of the furnace, it is placed directly in the cooling chamber. And because the outer parts are cooled before the inner part, it creates a high resistance to it. Glass uses Since glass is a completely inert material, it does not react with its content and surroundings, it is very suitable for scientific, surgical and pharmaceutical applications where it is used in the manufacture of glass containers used in the kitchen such as bottles and jars as well as household glassware such as jugs and glasses buildings and vehicles using flat glass strengthening buildings using fiberglass and insulation medical glass instruments such as laboratory tubes interior decoration by employing colored glass mirrors and glass partitions, 